Hey Credit Warriors, Credit Shiffle here, and a kind of interesting story for people who are interested in both uh, cryptocurrencies and in credit cards. Uh, the world's biggest cryptocurrency exchange by volume, Binance, um, have announced that they are going to start accepting credit cards uh, in the US. Okay, so they will be accepting credit cards for purchase of cryptocurrency. Now, this is quite interesting because this exchange in the past, it was a crypto to crypto exchange. So it actually didn't accept currency, um, you know, regular fiat currency as payment for cryptocurrencies. Okay, but now they will be accepting Visa and MasterCard credit cards um, across the US except for in six states, including New York State. Uh, I'll put the other five, you know, I'll put all six on screen so you guys can see. So there's a few states that you can't do this in, but everywhere else in the US, you will be able to now use credit cards to buy cryptocurrencies, um, including Bitcoin, Ethereum, etc. On Binance's uh, site, there will be a 3.5% fee uh, or $10 fee, whichever is higher. Uh, I'm guessing probably typically it'll be the 3.5% will work out higher um, considering the the price of Bitcoin. If you were to buy a whole Bitcoin, obviously, if you were buying smaller increments, then $10 may be higher. Um, and yeah, basically, so there's a fee, but also some articles have said that their pricing um, is, you know, it's kind of selling at a premium. So their pricing isn't that good when you use a credit card. Um, I, you know, I'm not a member of the site, so I actually can't unlock the credit card pricing. Um, so I can't really comment on that. I'm also not hugely knowledgeable about it. So you guys, uh, you know, if anyone can leave a comment, about their pricing for credit cards. If anyone's checked it out, please do. Please leave that comment and uh, you know let us know what you think of it, whether the price is good or not. Um, now, Binance, it's based in Malta. It's uh, the world's biggest cryptocurrency exchange by volume. Um, accepting credit cards, though, is kind of controversial because several banks, including JP Morgan Chase and Citigroup, um, have actually uh, not allowed their customers to use credit cards for cryptocurrency purchases since uh, last year, actually. Um, and basically, that's to avoid people, you know, buying, basically trading cryptocurrency with debt, with credit, uh, and then losing out if it, you know, if cryptocurrency crashes, uh, just being left with a huge amount of debt, okay, that they can't pay back. And then, you know, the banks have to chase them up about it. And, you know, they might declare bankruptcy. And obviously, credit card debt, it's unsecured debt. So if you declare bankruptcy, you can kind of get out of it. Obviously, you'll ruin your credit score. But, um, you know, the banks are trying to protect their money. Uh, apparently, Barclays as well is also, um, you know, limiting the use of credit cards for cryptocurrency purchase. So even if you do uh, try to, you know, buy cryptocurrency, um, your transaction might not go through if you're trying to use a JP Morgan card or a Citigroup card. Um, and even if it does go through, when the statement comes, you know, you could get in trouble for them. They might want to close your accounts or something. So I don't recommend trying it with banks that you know are not allowing people to purchase cryptocurrency with their cards. And to be honest, if you ask me, like, should you buy cryptocurrency with credit? Absolutely not. Do not do that. <laughs> Um, because cryptocurrency has been in a bear market for the past year. We don't know whether we're at the bottom yet, so you may you may lose quite a bit of money. You could still stand to lose a lot of money. Um, personally, I'm not really a fan of cryptocurrency either. Um, you know, I had one friend who made a huge amount of money off of it in 2017, but he timed it right and he got out as it hit $20,000, uh, and it's now down to uh, 3,500, so it's lost, um, you know, like, like 85% or 90, you know, some 85% of its value or something, right? 80% of its value. So that's crazy, you know? Um, and it's funny, you know, when I did my last cryptocurrency video, uh, and I was talking about how I, you know, I don't really rate it because it's kind of like, it's not a physical asset. There's no company behind it that's actually making things. It's just a little ethereal, some computer code. And a lot of crypto miners, you know, commented in the comments, criticizing me like, oh, you don't understand, you know, you don't know what you're talking about. Um, but actually, you know, now a lot of those mining operations have closed down because the price of Bitcoin is too low. They can't make money mining it anymore because they're using too much electricity. Electricity bill is too high. So, <laughs> you know, um, it's funny. It's funny how some people became cryptocurrency experts seemingly like within a few months, right? Uh, just, you know, cryptocurrency literally was really, really hot for like one or two years, 2016, 2017. And these so-called experts, uh, you know, suddenly so-and-so is a cryptocurrency expert. Dude, it's only been around for like a year or two and you're suddenly an expert? Like, <laughs> come on. To be an expert, you need to have studied something for like 10 years and observed like market trends over the long term and all this kind of stuff. So don't talk to me about like, oh, you're some expert and you know way, way more than me. Um, when I look at it, I'm looking at it as sort of like an asset, comparing it to stocks, bonds, property, 
all that kind of stuff and assessing the risk. So, um, you know, I think people who know about stocks and stuff like that, I think do are able to assess um, cryptocurrency, you know, based on the kind of like risk assessment that you would do. And it's also an unregulated industry, which makes it crazy as well. So just, I don't know, a cool video uh, to let you guys know that that is happening. You can now use credit cards to purchase Bitcoin um, and all the other cryptocurrencies on Binance. Uh, personally, I just don't recommend cryptocurrency at all anyway. Uh, and I certainly don't recommend doing it on credit. Um, but if you are, you know, if you do have the money to purchase it and want to purchase it, you can do it with a credit card and then pay off your credit card. So um, just be careful which credit card you use, though. Don't obviously charge it to a bank who's uh, not allowing people to use their credit cards for crypto purchases because you could get your accounts shut down or it might just not go through. All right, guys, that's the video for today. Please leave your comments below. What do you think about all this? As always, we will put some of our favorite credit cards in the description below for you guys to check out. It is an affiliate link, so please, if you do want to see the advertiser disclosure, it's at the bottom of the description section of this video. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.